Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to tackle a thought-provoking question that many Christian parents find themselves grappling with in the 21st century. Are we at war? Now, I know that might sound like a rhetorical question, but bear with me because we will be exploring it from a different perspective. Are you ready? Let's dive in. In the context of global trends, it does look like parents are at war. In many countries now, there are laws that provide for the overriding of parental consent. Interestingly, the contexts where parental consent may be limited or overridden applies to contraception, sexual health services, and some mental health treatments. For example, the Act on the Care of Young Persons in Sweden allows minors, regardless of age, to seek medical care, including contraception and abortion without parental consent or notification. Similar laws have been passed in the United States, in Canada, in UK, Australia, Malta, Brazil, and Ecuador. There is a push to force this, these laws into international instruments and to other autonomous nations. Now, these laws are sinister. They are intended to provide a basis for what is called gender-affirming therapy. What this really means is that children can decide on their own whether or not to have a sex reassignment surgery or whether or not to take hormone therapy to increase masculine or feminine characteristics. These legislations are intended to promote an evil agenda which blocks parents from being involved in the critical decisions that protect children from, from potential harm. These legislations are intended to promote an evil agenda which blocks parents from being involved in the critical decisions that protect children from potential harm. They violate Article 5 of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child that states that governments should respect the rights and responsibilities of parents to provide appropriate guidance to their children. As parents, we strive to protect and guide our children in a world filled with challenges. We want to raise them with love, faith, and values that align with our Christian beliefs. But in this context, the question of whether we are at war becomes relevant. So, let's explore this concept together through the lens of the Bible. In Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, the Apostle Paul reminds us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This verse indicates that as Christians, our battle is not physical but spiritual. We are engaged in a spiritual warfare, fighting against the forces that oppose God's kingdom. Now, how does this relate to parenting in the 21st century? Well, as parents, we often find ourselves engaging in various forms of war to protect our children. We wage war against the negative influences of the world, such as unhealthy media, peer pressure, and societal norms that contradict our faith. We fight to instill godly values and principles in their hearts. Parents go to great lengths to, sh to shield their children from harm. I wonder how far you are willing to go to protect your child. Are you engaged in the battles to protect their innocence, guard their minds, and cultivate a strong faith foundation? Or have you left unhealth media to violate their innocence and teach them all the garbage? It is our responsibility to protect them against the constant bombardment of information that challenges their beliefs. 
it is our primary role to teach them discernment to navigate a morally ambiguous world. These are just some of the forms of war we find ourselves in as parents. But amidst these battles, we must remember that we are not alone. In Psalm 127 and verse 3, the Bible tells us children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. We can find strength and guidance in God's Word, knowing that He has entrusted us with these precious gifts and He will equip us to face the challenges ahead. So, let me leave you with a question to ponder. What forms of war do you find yourself engaging in as a parent to protect your children? Is it the battle against negative influences? The struggle to maintain a health balance in their lives? Or perhaps the challenge of teaching them to love and serve others? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining me today on this exploration of whether we are at war as Christian parents in the 21st century. Remember, our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces. Let's continue to seek wisdom, guidance, and strength from God as we raise the next generation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, may God bless you and your family abundantly.